Well, this video is just a little short one. Um, I was uh, had to want to show off the sandblaster I picked up. Um, you know, thirty bucks, Princess Auto, and I was amazed at the job it did. And um, yeah, I check it out. I'll watch the video. You enjoy it. Now, as always, uh, subscribe, like, subscribe, like. If I'm pointing in the wrong direction, you know what I mean. Um, check it out. See how it works. And, uh, and we'd love to, to make more connection. Uh, be, be sure to make comments. Anybody that comments, I will absolutely uh, connect with you and, uh, and try to respond as best I can. Um, would just love to get more input on how to do this. And uh, a buddy of mine, Mark, who I haven't seen since high school, says he used to be called Dr. VW or Dr. Beetle or something like that. Yeah, he, he loved the VW so much. So uh, I'm looking forward to connecting with him even more and to making this work all together. So, hey, again, thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, what it tells me that you're tuning into my channel is that you've got as much time to waste as I have. So, uh, yeah, have yourself a great day. Hey. Going to start working on the wheels. I want to paint them up. I don't know if you noticed in some of my pictures how rusty they were. And uh, yeah, I think possibly this was stored on a um, you know a, a a shop or a garage that was uh, was moist or something like that because the the body's in really nice shape, but the wheels have been, are, are quite rusty and the the, um, the brakes are quite rusty. So if you notice the wheels on that, and so the rust on that and you know, it's, this one's not so bad, some of the other ones are worse. I went and bought myself <laughs> Prince's Auto, a sandblaster. And they, I looked online and I said, you know what, you should use silica sand to blast your rims with. And if you look over here, I've got sand all the way around my fire pit. So. I don't know. It's got to be silica sand. It's got to be good enough. So I'm going to go give it a whirl. Oh. I, uh, I I was looking at the sand, and if you look, there's quite a few big pellets in it. And I said, you know, what I need to do is I need to screen the sand. And so, uh, yeah, I thought to myself, might as well use a window screen. <laughs> You ever hear the one where grandma went through the screen door? She strained herself. Anyway, if you come and have a look now, this is the stuff that kind of fell off and I could have kept going and would have done, but look at how nice and fine this is. So I'm gonna put this into my handy dandy sandblaster. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, look at that, it pours right out. Safety first. Got a dust mask on. You know what, and I don't have a face shield quite like what I need to stop all the bounce back. Therefore, Nothing like a welding helmet. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. As you can see, that is working amazingly well. Sand from the sandbox. I love it. All right, we're going to be painting these rims now. And I just use Trim Clad Rust Paint. Uh, I've had good luck with this stuff. I've used it to paint signs for outside, and they've lasted for years. Um, 
I, yeah, I'm not trying to make money off of uh, them at all, but uh, I've been pretty happy how it's, how it's gone. So, um, and I, I'm really lazy. Uh, you could completely uh, do a masking tape all the way around your tires and all that just to make that happen. But uh, I, I cut a little cardboard just to kind of in a circle. And uh, the idea here is, is try to avoid the tires. And that's just how I do it. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't worry a lot about runs on wheels. Um, but uh, I have found that this is trim cut, it, it tends to dry and the runs disappear unless it's really, really gross. So, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try to get the rims done and I'll give you a bit of a look at what it looks like uh, right now after it's all said and done. Okay, thanks. Okay, after sandblasting and painting the rims, I'm, uh, I'm liking how that's looking. I were, we picked the color as close to that red stripe, and there'll be chrome, chrome uh, hubcaps going on there, so little chrome moons uh, going on to there. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it'll, it'll look really sharp. And uh, yeah, just a little thing as we wait for parts. Well, guys, what do you think? I uh, painted. The tires, or the tires, the rims, uh, got some fancy chrome hubcaps, uh, found a paint that was almost identical to the red stripe, and so I thought that would set it off really well. Uh, and I actually took some SOS to all the rust that was on the car, like on the surface rust. Wow, does that clean it up nice. SOS pads are just awesome. Um, I am planning sometime this fall or winter to paint the white and, and possibly paint the black also. Um, looks pretty good, huh? I'm, I'm impressed. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, again, right, you know, put some comments down below. Uh, tell me what you think, uh, what some other projects you'd like me to see, see me tackle. And uh, doesn't mean I'll be able to do it, but I'll, I'll sure give it a shot. So. Have yourself a great day. Thanks for, for uh, tuning in. Bye now.